What sneaker can you buy for a thousand pesos? Or rather, what sneaker can you buy for below a thousand pesos? That is what we are going to be checking out today in this episode of Hype Geek. Hi guys, my name is Colin, and if this is the first time you're seeing this, welcome to Hype Geek, the show where we celebrate hype and me just getting the heck out of things. Now, we are going to be unboxing a couple of sneakers given to us by our friends from World Balance. However, this isn't really a World Balance balance sneaker aha all right so before we actually go on with that if you have not subscribed to our channel please consider doing so because we're making more and more videos for you guys and we are currently running a giveaway for this beautiful denim tote bag from everyday avenue manila it's still ongoing i know i said we're ending it at the end of september however well i decided to just extend this a little bit maybe we can end this two weeks from now so maybe around october 15 somewhere along that time so you can have more time to join this also indulge me guys join this promo i'm going to put the link to the video of this up here um click that and then join the promo and i just wanted to check because there's some weird thing that youtube is doing for some reason some of the comments are being auto deleted i don't know why so for those who try joining before please join again if you're seeing this please do join again and again more time for you guys to check this out and join our giveaway all right so as always please click that subscribe button please 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 click it and click the notification bell right beside it so you know when we come up with a new video all right now that we have that out of the way let's go on with this so again, as I mentioned, we have two sneakers here from our friends from World Balance, but uh, these aren't really World Balance sneakers per se. I mean, fine, it was created by World Balance, but these are the sub-brands called One Up. Right, so uh, as I mentioned, these are called One Up by World Balance. It's a diffusion line from World Balance, which means it's something that they created because they wanted to cater to another different sub-segment group, and they feel that this offering is better suited for them than their main line as far as packaging is concerned this actually reminds us of the secret fresh world balance collaboration using a very simple plain cardboard box with a lot of printing all around it of course you have the logo of one up here and the name of the brand is actually here it says one up by world balance when you turn it to the side it has this moniker or tagline that says step beyond and uh, more logos of one up can be seen all around the box as well and of course on one side you'll see all the details of the shoe this is the darko silhouette and then this is the cassius silhouette um, and they are both in Europe 42 or US 9, which is basically my size as well. And I'm really, really interested to check this out and unbox it for you guys and probably do a little bit of on feet as well because I wanted to see what a sneaker that's a thousand pesos or a little bit below a thousand pesos would feel. Okay, ba? So let's start with, I guess let's start with the Darko one. Um, has a color gray. And you open it up, very, very simple. Again, tissue paper is just one up, one up, one up. And then boom. Ui. Puede. Not so bad. For a thousand pesos, um, I was expecting a lot less. The Darko one is very interesting because for one, it's very, very light. So I'm guessing it uses the same manufacturing technology from the other, the main World Balance main line. This has a lot of different materials stitched together. Now, as far as colors are concerned, the Darko has a lot of muted grays and, and monotone colors happening around, except for this, you know, really nice, very dark, rich blue, which breaks the monotony of all the grays that you can see. The upper is rendered in this weaved sort of nylon pattern i'm not entirely sure what this material is but there is a nylon lining as well so it's not necessarily a prime knit sort of material i don't think it's going to be as breathable as you'd want it to be and there is a fused material sort of mud guard also going around here i love at least that they added a little bit of textured design just to give it a little bit of playfulness there's a lot of added details that they included in the design process and i i'm really appreciative of that even on the lacing system alone i mean they could have done with the usual eyelets and the usual lacing pattern but they opted for something a little bit cleaner and a little bit more different and i'm really really happy that they opted to do that now the midsole and the outsole material seems to be made of the same material um of course it's just different varying patterns uh this is cute i like this this is cute <laughs> has a x and a triangle and um, for some reason it sort of reminds me of playstation symbols kulang na lang square taka circle all right so one shoe down let's check this other one let's check cashews up cashews 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 Ooh. 
So Cassius is a little bit more premium looking than the Darko one. I'm not entirely sure what the price range of Darko is. Ah, yun pala, 999 pesos. And similar with this one, also 999 pesos. And look at that! Diba? Pwede! Pwedeng pwede. Boom! I mean, the design pattern alone and the mix of materials, this one has a lot more like leather or leatherette type of material used and infused all around the shoe mixed with mesh. So this one looks and feels a little bit more premium than this one. And again, very, very classic use of black and white with a predominantly black upper and you have a white midsole with a little bit of dark outsole as well. The mix of leather material and the mesh gives it a lot of texture and a lot of play with the shiny black and then the very sort of matte colored black one with the mesh material. And it just looks pretty amazing. Not bad. I'm now very, very curious to see how this feels on feet. Right, now between the two, I feel that the Darko is a little bit more wide foot friendly. With the Cassius, it does feel a little bit tighter on the midfoot section. However, in terms of cushion, this one feels it actually gives your feet a little bit more, you know, a snug feel. This actually feels sort of like a basketball or performance sneaker versus this one that's purely casual. Again, I'm basing it only because it keeps your feet in place and it does provide a little bit more cushion, particularly on the sides of your feet and on the heel itself. Now, it's kind of the heel section niya versus the one on the Darko. I failed to mention a while ago that this one is actually a slip-on because of its construction. The tongue isn't separated from the entirety of the upper of the shoe versus the one on Cassius, which is basically your more traditional shoe construction. That being said, the Darko feels really good on feet. I thought I would have a harder time putting my feet in it because, you know, of the construction, but medyo malaking entrada niya, so it wasn't really a problem on my end. With the Cassius, while it may give your feet a little bit more cushion, I feel that if I wear this for a longer period of time, the midsection might start to hurt because it is a little bit more narrow and the EVA feels stiffer than the ones on on the Darko. That being said, it's very easy for you to get your hands on these. Again, price-wise, sobrang sulit. It's less than a thousand or maybe a thousand pesos. And these are not the only shoes from the One Up line. There's a lot, and some of them even start from 799 pesos. I mean, 800 pesos. Come on, guys. Now, what's interesting is the thrust of World Balance and why they decided to go this route. And according to their marketing manager, the idea is that they wanted to give people more options and more opportunity to buy one a legit product for like less than a thousand and uh, sobrang sulit and number two give you guys really well thought of design sneaker to pair off with your clothes and that's really what this is i mean if you have the option of buying fakes or oems versus you know supporting a filipino owned company and something that's legit this i feel is the better option to spend your well-earned money at and that's it guys that's our very quick unboxing of these two now if you want a more in-depth look and review of this do check out this is hype they will be doing a full review of these shoes there i'm going to link the review down below or update this video and put the link down below uh, once they've done so all right guys let me know your thoughts on one up do you think this is the right decision of world balance to go into this diffusion line let me know your thoughts down below and with that guys my name is colin and i will be seeing you on the next one guys please keep safe keep healthy bye bye hype peeps Peace out.